My dear brothers and sisters, I wanted to make one more comment about what happened in our community yesterday. But obviously there is no time. I will defer that for another, uh, another occasion, inshallah. But I would like to say one thing, one, one sentence. That this problem with depression, drugs, uh, and uh, uh, this has been a, an epidemic plaguing our community that we need to do something about it. Depression, drugs, and suicide, they go hand in hand. And the problem is, until, until we are courageous enough to fight the stigma and the taboo imposed by our community on those topics, we will continue to see a young man, a young woman, once in a while, committing suicide in our community. We need to stop this taboo. We need to stop saying, Aib, don't talk about it. We should talk about these subjects. It is happening in this family, in that family, and God forbid, God forbid, it can happen in your family as well. You all have kids. You all have young children who live in the society, who might not be immune to these kind of problems. The only thing that keeps people immune, my dear brothers and sisters, is having strong faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When people have strong faith, they do not resort to drugs. They do not resort to suicide. They have Allah to rely on. But when someone doesn't have Allah, what do they do? Someone who doesn't have Allah in his life, he has nothing. He has nothing. So my dear brothers and sisters, inshallah, I'm going to talk about this in different occasions, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. That this is not a topic that we can sleep on. Ignore and shy away from these are issues and i recommend that our religious leaders often talk about things happened 14 centuries ago without relating to them to our daily life we need to face those contemporary challenges pertaining to our community and particularly our youth so inshallah i will talk about that but let's leave that for another uh, occasion